During this video, we will have a look at the available settings and the simplicity of performing pure tone audiometry with the HARP audiometer. HARP has two channels. Channel 1, on the left side of the unit's keyboard, is used for the stimulus in pure tone audiometry, whereas channel 2, on the right side, is used for masking. The red and blue buttons correspond to the selection of the ear being tested. Press both at the same time to run a bilateral test. Transducer selection is made by pressing the output key. Pressing it switches from air conduction to bone conduction and free field. The input buttons are used to select the input signal. For the pure tone audiometry test, the possible inputs are tone and warble for channel 1, narrow band noise and white noise for channel 2. Interrupter is available for both channel 1 and channel 2. Simply press it to send the stimulus through the respective channel. By pressing the normally on button on the channel where the green indicator is lit, the relative output is permanently activated. The intensity level can be modified by turning the knob. The two frequency buttons are used, of course, to switch between frequencies from 125 Hz up to 8 kHz. You can press store to record the threshold level at each frequency. At the top of the keyboard are four buttons, controlling respective functions common to both channels. The step decibel button is used to select the incremental step for the attenuators, which can be 1 or 5 decibels. Pulsed allows the selection of pulsed mode for presenting the stimulus signal. The pulse rate can be selected with the corresponding function key below the screen. When the tracking option is selected, the difference between the intensity of the stimulus and masking signals is maintained constant with any variation in the intensity of the stimulus signal. When the lock option is selected, the masking tone will be switched on and switched off together with the stimulus tone. With lock enabled, the interrupter and the normally on button of channel two are deactivated. Six function buttons are positioned at the top of the keyboard area. Their labels are self-explanatory. If the audiometer is equipped with a thermal printer, the print button starts printing the current test. Immediately below the display are four buttons associated with configurable soft keys. The function of the soft keys can be changed according to the status of the instrument. To perform a pure tone audiometry test, the operator must first bring up the corresponding window from the main menu. Two display modes are possible that can be selected from the settings menu. Separated audiograms for the left and right ear and the audiogram traces for both ears displayed on the same audiogram. You may directly change the transducer used for the air conduction tests by pressing the AC transducer function button. This button is active only if one of the current outputs is air conduction and if more than one type of AC transducer has been calibrated. Please note that for safety reasons, if a stimulus signal stronger than 100 decibels HL is to be presented, the operator must first press the higher decibel button, which is active only when the stimulus intensity reaches 100 decibels HL. HARP audiometers can be interfaced with a computer by way of a USB connection. The live view function allows viewing the pure tone audiometry being carried out on the harp on the computer screen and to transfer the completed PTA to the Maestro software by simply pressing the 2PC button from the harp keyboard. Maestro must be previously installed on the computer with or without a proprietary database or installed as the NOAA module.